Whoops. Sorry. Hi, my beautiful students. You guys look gorgeous today. But anyways, let's get going. So, these are our final two tangent problems we're going to be doing with circles, which is happy and exciting and also sad, but it's okay. It's a bittersweet moment, but we'll persevere. Okay, so we're going to be using the property that states if two segments are tangent to a circle from the same external point, so if two tangents come from the same point outside of the circle and are tangent to the circle, that means they're congruent. Okay, so these two are tangent segments. They both intersect in point H, which means they have to be congruent. So be on the lookout for this property. It's going to pop up somewhere in this problem. So be on the lookout for it. Oh, that's not what I want to show you. Sorry, guys. But anyway, so, okay, in this picture, um, let's look at example seven right now. I'm going to try to zoom in more to example seven. Okay, so in example seven, it says AB is 10, which I'm going to label my picture because that's always a helpful thing to do when you're solving geometry problems. So AB is 10. Okay, um, CD is 15. So this piece is 15. GE is 28. So the whole thing from here to here is 28. All right, and then CE is 26. So this whole thing is 26. All right, and it says to find the perimeter of quadrilateral, quadrilateral ACEG. So I want to find the perimeter, which means I want to add up all the side lengths together. That's how you find the perimeter. You add up all the sides of a figure. All right, so looking at this problem, you're like, Miss Long, what does this have anything to do with this nifty property that you just talked about? Well, it's hard to see, but if you guys look closer at the problem, there's a bunch of tangent segments that intersect in the same external point. If you guys look closer, watch. Okay, like, these, this is a tangent segment. GF is a tangent segment, and GH is also a tangent segment. And they both intersect in the same external point, which is point G. So that means that this segment, GH, has to be congruent to GF. Same with these two. Segment AH and segment AB are tangent segments that both intersect in point A. Whoa, right? I know. So that means that these two are congruent. Holy hot dog, you guys. This is happening again. Do you see this? CB and CD are tangent segments, even though that one's struggling a little bit. It's tangent, though. Just tr take my word for it. Um, CB and CD are also tangent segments that intersect in the same external point C. So that means that these two are congruent. And wow's a look right here. Same thing again. EF and ED are tangent segments and they both intersect in point E, the same external point. So that means that these two are also congruent. So that's going to help me to solve. Okay, so let's see if any of those items in this picture will help me solve. So I know that this is 10, which means that AH is also 10 because they're congruent, which means they're equal only. Okay, CD is 15, which, holy hot dog, that means CB is also 15. Okay, um, let's see here, which I know this whole side of the quadrilateral and this whole side, so technically I don't have to fill in these, but might as well, right? Isn't it fun to find all the little pieces? Okay, so if CD is 15 and CE, the whole segment is 26, how can I find DE? Okay, you would subtract these because CD plus DE equals CE. So if I add this to whatever this is, you get the whole thing, which since I don't know what DE is, if I subtract these two, then bam, I'll get DE. So 26 minus 15 will give me an 11. Whoa, pretty exciting, right? Which means that this piece is 11. Okay, and then FE plus GF will equal GE, which means that the whole thing's 28, and that's 11. 28 minus 11 will give me a 9, or no, that will give me a 17. Sorry, the Demon Cats almost got me. Okay, which if that's 17, that means this is 17. All right, so we have all the pieces. We just need to add up all the sides of this quadrilateral. So we know this is 28. We know that's 26. This whole side, if we add up 10 and 15, will give me 25, which I know I'm squeezing that in, sorry. 
All right, and then this side, this is 10 and that's 17. H is 10, H, G is 17. So A, G, if I add those bad boys together, will give me a 27. Whoa. So guys, the last step is just to add up all the pieces and then we're done though. Okay, so let's find the perimeter. I'm excited. All right, so the perimeter, which I'm gonna use P for perimeter. I don't think I have any P points. Nope. All right, so perimeter, if I add up all these sides, I should get the perimeter. So I'm gonna add 28 plus 26 plus 25 plus 27. All right, let's start adding up these bad boys. So 28 and 26 will give me 54 plus 25 and 27, that will give me 47 plus five is 52. Let me double check that. Yes, 52. Let me double check this one. So two and three, yes. Yes, okay. And then lastly, let's add these two together. So perimeter equals 54 and 52 will give me 106. Holy hot dog, you guys. The perimeter is 106 units, which I don't know my units. So you can either write 106 or you can just write units. And that's what, you guys. That's it for that problem. Wasn't well, that fun? I know you guys are super excited to start eight, which example eight is pretty much the same thing as example seven. So if you want to try example eight on your own and fast forward to the end to see if you get it right, I highly encourage that. All right, let's get going on example eight.